Hello there. <laughs> well, now, that's rather surprising. I, I, I am told you, I know your, your father is a, is a doctor. Are they, is it a very musical family you come from? Uh, well, my, my brothers are very musical. Um, and my mother is Irish, in fact, so I guess a lot of us get it from her. Where is she from? She's from Waterford. What was her maiden name? Uh, I don't think she'd like me to say. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I think she wants the family to remain anonymous, just because, I mean, my, my family at the moment are getting a lot of people Publicity, bringing them yeah. up. And yes, I see. Bothered. Your father is not Irish? No, he's English. Well, if your mother's from Waterford, that means the Val Dunican country and the Gilbert O'Sullivan country <laughs> and the Dave Allen country, not to mention Waterford Glass and a couple of other things as well. So there's a, a fair old tradition of music there. Um, you've been writing songs for how long now? Uh, I think easily 10 years since I was a kiddie, you know. It's just been the, the thing I've always loved doing. I love music and it's been my way of expressing myself. And I'm told you tried your first sample record when you were 16. Yes, that's right. It was uh, making a demo in order to try and get a contract with a record company, and it was successful. I've been very lucky. And you're taking dancing lessons too? Yes, I have been for uh, over two years now. Recently, I've not had the time, though. I've been so busy with it. Right. <laughs> so so absolutely you've decided that music and show business is your career? Music is, yes, for sure. Mm, well, the dancing would... Uh, will give you a chance of, 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 you know, playing a singing, acting part and a musical part, in, indeed. So, it, most extraordinary, the sources for your songs, I mean, Wuthering Heights, what other sources have you used? Um, well, that, that's the only, the only book that mm. I've actually written about. Most of uh, my other inspiration comes from people. Uh, people are full of poetry, you know, everything they say, maybe the way they say it has a, a magic and a spark in it. and. Uh, People are always saying things that inspire me. I mean, people are just full of wonderful things. It's, mm. it's great. I know you're smothered with a cold at the moment. Very difficult to work. Yes, yes. it is. It's a yeah. nuisance. Yes, yeah. and you're such a slight little thing. You think a dose of flu would bowl you right over? Oh, I'm not as weak as yeah. I look. Not as weak <laughs> as you look, I dare say. No, well, with a daddy and doctor, you're probably getting the tablets cheap anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. So you're just over for a brief visit to Ireland, aren't Yes, you? just for tonight and going back tomorrow morning. Well, you've made as big an impact in Ireland as you have in Britain and elsewhere. The problem is, what are you going to do to follow that now? Well, all I can do is uh, do my best, do what I've always done. Just keep writing and, and working. Have you another set of songs ready? I have a few, yes, but I really I think the most important thing at the moment is that I get the time in order to write more and expand my uh, inspiration and, and sources mm. of uh, stimulus. Very good. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you very much indeed for joining you us too. on The Late Thank Rachel. you very Thank much. You. Hey,